Hello and of course welcome back to 16 Years and Now Kid 3. Right yo, you find me on a beautiful campsite called the Marthro of Maybe. Uh, not far from Dumfries. I know it's strange isn't it that I actually remember this uh, the name of this camp campsite. But I have, uh, I will admit, stayed here a few times. <coughs> um, but yeah, still as gorgeous as ever. Fair enough the uh, majority of the trees got diseased. So they had to cut them down. Um, but yeah, it's still gorgeous, and if you uh, see this little roundhouse behind me, you might recognise from TV. You never know. Um, yeah, uh, it was on Don't Tell the Bride. Sorry, but I've been swinging around me. Uh, Don't Tell the Bride many years ago, and last year it was on the Four in the Bed. Um, so some of you might recognise it. But yeah, I doubt I'll do the in-depth of what they do, but as everybody knows, reality TV is... As far away from reality as possible, to be truthfully honest. But news aren't bad either. And even though, you know, it might look like you're back in the Stone Age. This side, Berwin. This side, Berwin. This side. This side, Berwin. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. <laughs> right. There we go, the other side. Uh, yeah, even though it might look like you're back in the Stone Age, you've still got... All your mod cons, gas cooker, fridge, kettles, everything like that, seating arrangement, toilets, compostable, but electric showers, um, your barbecue and everything like that. This way, mate. Oh, and uh, down the bottom, you've got, uh, you know, the dining room, uh, places to stay down there, and uh, the sauna, which is an old um, style uh, wood burning sauna. Don't worry, don't put the wood underneath, it's in a boiler separate. But yeah, it's a really nice place, and if you're just uh, camping here, like I, well, I pay for a camping spot, it's only a tenner. Uh, I'm not too sure how much the roundhouse or the yurts that we're going to go down and have a quick peek at uh, are. You have to look that up on the, the uh, old internet uh, for that one. You will. Um, but it's still, it's out there, and as you can tell, it's miles from anything. You know, bar, you know, Dumfries is like just behind over there about. I think it's about six miles, ten miles, something like that. Not too far. Um, so yeah, you've still got all your bits to go into Morrison's and stuff like that so you can get your shopping and everything. Uh, I'm not too sure if the ta takeaways deliver up here, but I went into Dumfries and I went into a Greek restaurant and they done me a takeaway uh, lamb Greek kebab. And it was rather tasty actually, I must admit. And some form of Greek yoghurt on it. Didn't taste like yoghurt, but it was damn tasty. And with loaded fries. Everything seems to be doing loaded fries these days. Oh, you've got your adventure courses as well. And bits and pieces like that. So, you know, you won't be bored. But, you know, if you're coming up here with a, a big party of you, which you can rent that out as a big party, or weddings, you know, or anything like that, you know, it's, you know, well worth it. And, you know, you generally get left to your devices. You've got a, light, a lovely bell tent that you can just see, that, see down there. Got some more adventures, and then that's one of the yurts down there. You get, and it all comes with your own fridge, you know, your own sink, and everything like that. Um, not, well, they're outside uh, the yurts, but they got some lovely um, uh, wood burning stoves in there, and I know they're lovely because my friend actually made them. <laughs> that's how it comes I know this place quite well. Um, but yeah. It's a cool place to come and stay, and it's as you come over, you know, into Scotland. So, you want a cheap campsite to come and stay in. I'm not too sure if you'll get motorhomes on here, but vans and that you'll definitely get on here. Then you've got your sink to washing up area. Down there's another yurt and whatnot. And uh, as you can see, up there, there's a Robert with a bonnet, bonnet open. And so, I'm waiting for the owner to come along and uh, give me a jump start. And then I've got a long drive. A long, long, long drive. So, yeah. Wait until he comes about. I've done my little video tour. Um, I didn't know if I was going to be able to do it, because apparently the uh, BBC are coming up here for, I think it's Robson Greens weekend getaways or something like that, to come and wreck you, but they haven't turned up either, so I thought, sod it, I'll have a go. And then, yeah, you've got this lovely camping field, picnic benches, to have fires but you know you've got bins very heavy on the recycling here and then uh, yeah you've got your firewood if you you know don't dump it in the bins or anything you know chuck it on there and that is my throw maybe so hopefully the next time i do a video you'll see me at my next stop and on that note like i always say take it easy keep adventuring 
Nothing up here, bye.